Welcome back to K-Man Builds. In this episode, we're going to continue upgrading my 96 F250 XL edition. Uh, the XL meant that I got these lovely black plastic front end and light surrounds. So we're going to change all of that out. In addition, I'm also going to upgrade the lights and the turn signals to a more modern style. Uh, and I'll show you those now. I found these off of the eBay store, uh, a company called DNA Motoring. And it's more of the modern style. As you can see, it's completely clear. Uh, you'll have just the clear glass on here. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive. I'm not sure how long they're going to last, but for the price, $75 for the pair. And like I said, uh, that comes with both of those, plus also the side light there. So we're going to change those out as well. I'll put those over the side. Also ordered from LMC Truck. Love LMC. Um, all of this in chrome. So we'll be changing obviously these out. So it's gonna look really nice having that chrome on there. In addition to front grille as well, all chrome. So this is really gonna make the front of the truck look really new and uh, really good looking. Uh, the only thing I didn't realize is that the LMC doesn't come with the Ford emblem on it. So when I take this off, I'm gonna figure out how to get it off there without breaking it. I haven't even looked at it to see what it's gonna be like. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead today, go ahead and start pulling all this off. Uh, probably going to wait a day or so before we start putting everything back on because I'm still working on the motor. Uh, I had to get the heads rebuilt um, and new water pump, and then I'm also going to be changing out the radiator. So I figured I'd go ahead and pull this stuff off, get it out of the way, and then finish my job. And then I'll come back later and pull all this back on at last. So let's get started. Uh, one thing is save yourself some trouble trying to figure out where all the screws are. If you get the new one, just pull up and look at it. It tells you exactly where you need to go and pull off uh, pieces the, on here. Uh, so you got the four on the top and it looks like it may just clip in on the bottom uh, and maybe one, yeah, one right there, which is there. So pretty easy to pull this off. It's kind of hard to see, but the there's some bolts on here and then with some nuts on there to get the emblem off so I can just unbolt that and pull the emblem right off. So that makes it really easy. We'll go ahead and put these back in just so I don't lose them. like the headlight probably has to come off first yeah probably going to get the headlight out first so there seems to be a screw right there I think this just holds that on but there is a screw right there so somehow you got to get that turn light out all right so it's a 7 16 of uh, nut that holds it on there i get a kick out of how back then sometimes they would use metric and sometimes they would use standard uh, there's a few pieces here and there that are like on that on the head that were like 14 millimeter All right, let me show you where we're at. All right, so the first bolt is right inside there. <laughs> let me flip this thing around. <laughs> yeah, it is half inch and it's right inside there. So if you're looking down, uh, you look for that little cutout and it's right there. Uh, the second one should be, if I'm not mistaken, um, somewhere right in there, I think. So we're gonna try that out. All right, so once you get those two bolts off, or those two nuts off, then this assembly comes loose. And then you can reach back in here and unplug the side light. I think it should, yeah. So turn it counterclockwise on both. 
Okay, so all three lights there, just turn them counterclockwise and it pops right off. These are still in good shape, so I don't know, somebody might want something like this on eBay. We'll see. Ain't nothing wrong with them, it's just I want to upgrade. Alright, so the last one's got this, the last screw's got this shaft here, and that's how you adjust it. And it is a four millimeter that fits on there. If you plan on reusing that, don't touch it. Get your oil on there. I'm your fingers, they're ruined. So this is the back of the replacement headlight I got from DNA Motoring. And they come with the little um, rubber pieces that go in there. And then also the adjustable one. But this one's pretty, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> the first one I did here, um, it, it, it came apart. I mean, you couldn't. You could turn the rod and the back of the thing just popped right off. So, uh, unless yours are tore up, I recommend you just go ahead and leave the Ford ones in there. Uh, they work with them, work with them very well. Uh, just leave all these in there because trying to get them out is going to be very difficult because you've got to get that little clip off of there and it's basically wrapped around it. So, you end up having to take this whole assembly off, I'm assuming, to get it. So, uh, like I said, you can just leave the ones that are in there in Ford, just unscrew those all the way out. And then just use those those are better quality anyway well here's the finished product uh, I've had this done for a couple of months now and uh, been very happy with it the look and everything uh, definitely changed the front end gave it a more modern look uh, with the clear lenses uh, obviously all you do is follow the process backwards from the way we took them apart uh, one thing that I did have a little issue with with these um, DNAs and I didn't get a video of it that little cover that covers up the um, the bulb uh, was not exactly straight in there. So when I stuck the, the light bin, it was hitting it. So what I did was I took a, a piece of metal, like a clothes hanger, made a little loop on it, stuck it in, kind of hooked onto it, and pulled it back to where it straightened up. Uh, the other thing I had to do was uh, only on this one side, the, um, the grooves that are in the headlight uh light uh, setting did not match this one exactly so i had to kind of uh file out a little bit so that it actually fit uh, the other one fit perfectly but this side was a little challenging other than that uh, i've been really happy with it and uh for like i said i think it looks pretty good mm -hmm.